Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be using copper wire to see what materials are safe for laser cutting. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so for this we're going to be working with a little bit of fire and heat. So you're going to want a surface that cannot be burnt easily. So I'm going to use my silicone mat I showed you how to make in a previous video. You're also going to need some solid core copper wire. I also recommend some gloves, although it's not necessary. And some kind of fire source. And a good pair of safety goggles is also really helpful. Now I need to cut myself a bit of copper wire. So I'm just going to cut off a piece like that. And there we go. So you're going to want to get your wire. And you're going to want to grab onto it with your pliers so you don't burn yourself and then you're going to want to burn off any coating that might be on the wire. There we go. Smells a little gross, but it goes away. And now you're going to want to test the material. So you can test basically any material that will melt or leave any residue. So leather or plastics, even like polymer plastics like this. Whatever you think you're going to ever laser cut, you can test. There are some materials you cannot test, such as metals. Most materials that could have chlorine in them, you can test. So, to actually do this experiment, you're going to want to heat this up so it's hot enough to melt the material that you want to test. We're going to heat up this copper wire. I'm just going to start glowing red a bit, and I'm going to put it to this cap, and I burnt a little bit of it. So as you can see, I actually melted a little bit of the plastic, and it actually melted onto this copper wire. I'm now going to show you what happens when you light this on fire, and we'll see what happens. So you see that red flame? That means that there's nothing really going wrong. So, let me show you a material that does have chlorine in it, and you'll see what happens differently. So, believe it or not, PVC and the coating that is put on most wires is actually chlorine-based. It has some chlorine in it. So, we're going to use this test again, except we're going to use it on this wire coating instead. So, we're going to melt a little bit of it. There we go. So if we take a look at this, you can see that at the tip of the wire, there's a little bit of residue left on the wire. So now we can turn on the blowtorch. Whoa! So that green burn at the very beginning, that's a signal of chlorine. So the green color you just saw is the chlorine in the actual plastic burning up. Before I go, let's do a couple more material tests and see if we can learn something. So I really like this leather mat I have on my desk. This is where I do all of my electronics work. It's a really nice leather mat and, you know, maybe I might want to laser engrave my name into it or something. So before I do that, how about I test this material to see if it's safe to laser cut. And I'm going to touch it to the edge. Whoa! Alright, so that green tint right there, that's a bad sign. I guess I can't be laser cutting this material. So I highly recommend you use this test if you're interested in laser cutting a material you can't find any documentation on, or just a material you have no idea what it has in it. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you know anybody that has a laser cutter or could benefit from this test, please share it with them. If not, then please like this video, leave a comment in the description, recommend a project, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.